All right, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the Dana White incident that happened on, uh, I believe this was New Year's Eve in uh, Cabo, San Lucas. And, uh, you know, it's been interesting to hear some of the response from people in the community. Um, but the one thing I'm wondering is, you know, UFC is kind of more corporate now, now that it's under a, a WME and Endeavor. Um, it'll be interesting to see uh, if there's going to be a punishment of some sort for Dana, because you would think uh, there would be punishment for someone else that was a, a part of this uh, new UFC corporate type of world. Um, so that's kind of what I'm interested to see is, uh, are they going to make him sit some time out or is there going to be some sort of a public punishment for Dana White? I know some people think that he owns the UFC, but he doesn't, you know, Endeavor owns the UFC now. Um, Dana White's just the CEO, you know, like the figurehead. And, uh, when you're in their, that position, you know, it has a lot of visibility and, uh, especially when, uh, you know, they're still trying to grow this entity to some degree on ESPN. It's kind of embarrassing for ESPN as well. You know, even though they're not owners, they are their TV partners. And uh, ESPN's pretty uh, conservative. So that's the thing that's going to be interesting for me. I, know, I mean, obviously, um, what he did was wrong. And uh, I think pretty much has been the consensus in the community. And But what I'm more interested in is to see what... Uh, if anything is going to happen to him. Because people can have their opinions on what happened, but it's more interesting to see um, what kind of measures are taken against him, if any. That's kind of where you, where you can tell, you know, maybe where uh, Endeavor and where ESPN is sitting on all of this. Um, from what I've seen on ESPN, it seems like they've been pretty quiet in response. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out.